Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to troubleshoot a horn that's not working on a Toyota Corolla. The horn circuit consists of the horn switch on the steering wheel, a fuse and relay inside the fuse box, and the horn behind the front bumper. I'll start by checking the fuse and relay first inside the fuse box. And here is the horn fuse. To remove it, there is a puller included here. Place it over the fuse and squeeze it closed and pull the fuse out. Now I'll inspect the wire going across the fuse. It should be a continuous wire, and if there's a gap in it, that means that the fuse is burned out, and it will have to be replaced. This fuse is still good, so I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall it, and make sure to press it down all the way in. Let's go ahead and check the horn relay now, which is located on the bottom left corner of the fuse box. To remove it, wiggle it side to side, and pull up at the same time. Now to test the relay, some equipment will be needed. However, there's a much simpler way to check if it's faulty, by swapping it with another relay that is already known to work. So I'm gonna use the reverse lights relay to do this test. Make sure both of the relays are exactly the same before switching them. They should have the same part number and I'll install the reverse lights relay into the horn relay location, and I'll put in the other relay instead of the reverse lights. And if the horn starts working and the reverse lights stop working, that means that the relay was faulty, so make sure to replace it. Next, I'll check the connector to the horn. To disconnect it, I'll push the release tab on the side and pull the connector out. Now look inside the connector and look for any rust or corrosion, which would cause it to stop working. This connector looks pretty good, so the next step is to check the voltage coming to this wire using a voltmeter. Make sure to set the meter to measure DC volts, and I'll insert the red lead into the connector, and connect the black lead to the negative battery terminal. Now I'll check the voltage while pressing the horn switch, and if it measures about 12 volts when the switch is pressed, that means that the switch is working properly, and the fuse and relay are also working good. This leaves only a few possibilities to explain why the horn is not working, the horn may be faulty, the positive connection to the horn may be bad, or the ground connection could be bad. To test the ground connection, Set the meter to measure resistance. Connect the black lead to the negative battery cable and touch the red lead to the body of the horn. The body of the horn is usually quite rusty, so make sure to scrape it a bit if there is no reading. If the ground to the horn is good, then the meter will measure a value that is very close to zero and I'm getting a value of nearly zero here which means that the ground to this horn is good. One more thing we can try is to remove and insert the connector a few times, which can sometimes get the horn working again and indicate that the connection here is going bad. And if the horn is still not working and there's 12 volts coming to the wire, then the horn itself is very likely faulty and it will have to be replaced. If there was no change in voltage during the previous step, when we pressed the horn switch down, make sure the lead from the voltmeter is in good contact with the connector, and if there is still no change in voltage when the switch is pressed, then it's possible that the horn switch is faulty, or there's a bad connection somewhere in the circuit between the horn switch and fuse box, or between the fuse box and the horn. If you found this video useful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, your support is really appreciated, and consider subscribing to my channel, I'll be posting more videos in the future. Thanks for watching!